It's vast, largely empty and perfect for military training. This is southern Jordan and it's here British Army units come to practice live firing. Here for the past few weeks have been A Company, 2 PWRR and today they're setting off from their camp at Alcuera at the start of a four-day company level exercise to take on an imaginary insurgent group called the Loyal Vikers Movement or LVM. So we're just launching on the uh, what we hope will be the, uh, the final phase of this uh, four-week endeavour to defeat the LVM in this area of operations. Uh, the enemy has got the wind in his sails, he's attempting to counter-attack uh, against us, uh, but we're set for it. We're moving out uh, today to occupy some defensive positions, attempt to draw the enemy into our killing area uh, to defeat his initial advance, uh, and then we'll resume the offensive uh, and counter-attack the enemy uh, over the next uh, three or four days, locating his uh, headquarters locations and dealing the killer blow. On top of a ridge overlooking the low ground is the guns platoon. Armed with general purpose machine guns or GPMGs, they work in two-man teams to provide fire support and can lay down 750 rounds a minute, hitting targets up to 1,800 metres away. So basically I'm in a machine gun platoon. There's, we've got one section up on this ridge now currently. There's three, there's three pairs up here which consists of a gun controller and a gunner. So what we would do basically is provide fire support as a company filter through and try and take the objective, which is currently a bridge down there and two other targets. Live firing exercises like this take months to plan. Every arc of fire is plotted, troop movements carefully timed. So when you're ready. All aimed at making sure the risks are minimised. With the machine guns providing suppressing fire, it's the turn of one platoon to advance and attack the enemy positions in the desert below. So the other two platoons, they've held the enemy back. Uh, they've now slowed the enemy's movement and fixed them in place. My platoon's currently destroyed the enemy. We've destroyed one position now. I'm just fixing onto the next one. I launch my next section through to destroy that position. This is a test of coordination and managed aggression under fire, the key skills needed by any infantry battalion, and ones the British Army honed in recent years in the battlefields of Helmand. After several hours, the enemy attack is repelled. This part of exercise Olive Grove at an end. Yeah, so today it's really been the culmination of what's been uh, three weeks of uh, training with live ammunition, uh, building all the way up from individual skills right the way up to a company live fire, which is what we've been doing today. So the guys are increasingly confident now, uh, even just handling uh, live ammunition in a continuous uh, tactical scenario, uh, and then to really synchronise all the different elements that you have within a company group in terms of machine guns, uh, mortar fire, snipers, as well as the rifle platoons, to try and synchronise all that with live ammunition really focuses the mind uh, of the commanders, of course, but right the way down to the junior private soldier. It's the closest that we will get to, to actual operational training here in this fantastic training environment here in Jordan. For a company, the next four nights will be spent camped out in the desert. After three years in Cyprus, two PWRR return to the UK this summer. For these soldiers, some of them new to the army, this has been a valuable month away. A chance to refresh core soldiering skills and live up to the battalion's motto, to train hard and fight hard. Simon Newton, Forces News in Southern Jordan.